Hello everybody and welcome to the review of my first mini nitro car, the one that started it all, the Sportworks Nitro Chaos. This is a 16th scale buggy. The copyright from the instruction manual via Horizon's website puts it at 2006 circa date. The overall length from front bumper to rear bumper, or rear wing in this case, is 10.2 inches. It sits a total of 7 inches wide, 3.7 inches tall, and has a whopping wheelbase of 6.7 inches or 172 millimeters. The engine is a 0 0.05 cubic inch two-stroke nitro with full start, which conveniently sits out of the hood. And the fuel tank capacity is 1.3 ounces or 40 cc's. I really like this buggy because, like the Dramatas that I'm so fond of in the electric world, it has a lot of interchangeable parts, especially suspension-wise. Uh, the front suspension, the front shock tower or suspension arm, up camber link, the drivetrain, um, even the knuckles are all the same, front as well as rear. They're all identical. Uh, that makes repairs and spare parts pretty easy. Even though this car is from 2006, you can buy one set of everything and have it all on hand. You can see I've already replaced the front suspension uh, front shock tower with aluminum. I promptly broke that probably my fourth run or so. Uh, I do have the aluminum for the rear, just haven't put it on yet. Uh, some things I like about this vehicle as well is it's easy to start. Uh, you know, plugging the hole to essentially prime the engine, three poles, put your netter on, and uh, one or two poles after that usually starts it. Uh, it looks cool. I think this kind of chubby, buggy exterior definitely catches people's eye. Um, some downsides to it so far are the obviously cramped internals. Uh, we've got our throttle servo here. This direction is brake. This direction is gas. And that in and of itself is rather complicated with a series of bell cranks to run the throttle. Uh, if it was just a sliding throttle mechanism then this whole 90 degree bend would not be necessary. The brake as well is a bit of a drawback. Uh, this has a center differential, which is a plus, but the brake only goes to the front half of the center differential, so you essentially only have braking force on the front wheels. It does spin out fairly easily under heavy braking. Um, the battery tray and other electronics are housed in this box here. The battery I have replaced, instead of four triple A's, I'm running a single two cell lithium ion battery um, behind here within the case which is screwed down is a spectrum two channel receiver that I use with my DX5C. Button this back up here. An interesting feature I guess the uh, battery tray doesn't really clip closed I can still pull it open like that. The clips don't actually go through anything they're just kind of there as I guess, uh, washers of sorts to hold the battery tray or the battery door down in hopes that it doesn't open. But uh, with enough force and with a heavy enough crash, that does just pop off. Uh, steering is pretty wide open and easy to set up. Servo savers directly on the servo, non adjustable turn links, and a center arm there to go between the two sets. Chassis is already aluminum, which is nice. I have grown to expect that from nitro vehicles, but I know it's not necessarily the case. Um, but the tires <laughs> are unfortunately gone. Um, I got this second hand, and after running it a few times, I already have pretty serious separation. So I will be changing those tires out to a set that my friend has given me from his Velocity Mini 8. Those are 12 millimeter hubs, where these are a proprietary 8.5. Certainly doesn't help anything, but I'm going to get those swapped out. And we should have it back and running again at least. Um, overall, a pretty solid buggy. Definitely what sparked my interest. And I should uh, have it up and running here pretty soon with new tires and wheels. I'll give you guys a taste of what it looks like, and I'll have more on the way. Thanks for watching.